really am excited to go to Schoolypalooza. I'm excited to go on a trip in the van. It has been a while. <sighs> I am not excited to pack the van. You guys would be shocked to know how long it takes to pack the van and how much stuff fits in that teeny tiny little Euro van. And to top it all off, it is screaming we're under a wind advisory. So it's cold winter wind. I can't avoid it, so I guess we can turn it into a little game, maybe? <laughs> and I can show you all what I pack. Does that sound like a plan? Okay. Hmm, let's start with clothes because I think that sounds the easiest. Uh, I need to do laundry, but I am not doing laundry. <laughs> That's not happening. So I guess what I need to do is go sort through my dirty clothes and pick out what I want to take and I will go to a laundromat in the van. Does the dirty clothes smell good? All right, that's everything out of the dirty clothes bin. A couple pairs of sweatpants, some jeans, one of Teddy's sweaters, and socks and underwear and stuff like that. So now I will just supplement this with what I have that's already clean. Are you ready to go on a trip? You go live in the van for a little while? Teddy loves the van. The van was his first home. If I leave the van door open while I'm outside, he will just be in there sleeping. Have I overpacked? Yeah, probably, but oh well. A pair of jeans, pair of shorts, just in case. I expect it'll be cold, but a pair of sweatpants. I have more sweatpants in the dirty pile. Bras, underwear, socks. I have more of those in the other pile. Cold weather clothes, so a scarf, some hats, gloves. Warm weather clothes or like hot springs or whatever, bathing suit and a uh, sarong sweater, a couple of quarter zips and a cardigan, a couple of jackets slash button ups that I wear as jackets and my coat. And then my van has a closet thing. So I'm leaving stuff on the hanger. And so I basically went through my closet and got anything I thought I might want. And I guess I can probably put some of this stuff back, but Let's go through it together. Okay, the one tank top, in case it's warm, also can be used for layering. Scrubby t-shirt, nicer t-shirt, medium nice t-shirt, also medium nice t-shirt, nice to medium nice t-shirt, little button up that I'm not, does it go with anything? No, and I bought me a little coat. So we'll put the button up aside, scrubby t-shirt, Sleep t-shirt, medium nice t-shirt, uh, thermal. This kind of goes in the sweater category, but it was hanging, so I'll leave it hanging, but this is like super thick, nice and warm. A uh, lightweight long sleeve and a uh, like medium weight long sleeve. I'm gonna put this t-shirt back and this t-shirt back. All right, most of the stuff's in the van. I put bras and underwear in a pouch, the swimsuit and sarong in a pouch, and socks in a pouch. I remembered that they do a lot of yoga at schoolie, so I have two yoga pants that I need to put in the van too for clothes. That's a couple different coats, couple sweaters. He'll wear a sweater and put his travel water bottle and a couple extra poop bags in here. Alrighty, well, clothes are in the van. I put a couple more odds and ends and stuff together, but like, I still need dishes. I still need food. I still need toiletries. Can't really do any of that until tomorrow. And so I guess I'm gonna get in the shower now while it's daylight and the house is relatively warm <laughs> as opposed to tomorrow morning, which I don't plan on making a fire or anything. I'm just gonna get packed and go. So take a shower now to avoid a cold shower tomorrow. morning. I look insane. <laughs> I dyed my eyebrows yesterday and it stained my skin. We had the most insane windstorm last night. I have not heard sand be flung at the house like that before, ever. Um, I've had wind strong enough that it like pushed its way through the window and made the window like vibrate and like don't laugh at me, you guys, but it goes like this. 
I also made a boo-boo and packed something without you guys last night. I packed some food. I didn't pack some food. I packed all my food. I brought in a crate um, to help me move things in and out. And I loaded it up with basically all the food that is relatively easy to make. So I have like beans and rice, uh, mac and cheese, ramen. Um, I do want to get a few things before I leave from the grocery store, but I'm... I mean, I'm pretty loaded at this point, so really dreading getting out of bed right now because my hand that's holding this camera is frozen. <laughs> it's so cold in here. I almost took another load out without uh, showing you guys what I'm bringing. <laughs> Medicine kit, band-aids, COVID test, thermometer, NyQuil, DayQuil, all that kind of stuff. Mirror for doing makeup. Makeup. Toiletries. More toiletries, lots of sunscreen, baby wipes, stuff like that. I already have a shower kit that lives in the van. And yeah, that's toiletries. Okay, I need to start packing dishes, which means I need to do dishes. I got everything with these two pot and bowl done, but they are not getting packed. Um, yeah, it's not very many dishes because I just need a pot and a pan. I have a plate and bowl that lives out there. Also, I have silverware that lives out there. I have room in this crate, so I think I'm gonna do my fridge at the same time. So basically, all of this is gonna be taken as well. I'm thrown in the fridge so I can turn the fridge off. Alrighty, it is 10 o'clock and I am in the home stretch. I'm dressed, crocheting things, books to read, books to donate, purse, work stuff, tripod, Packed my shoes. I went outside and um, filled the water, washed the solar panels really quick, and I think all that's left is to put this stuff in and then close up the house. So turn off the water, turn off the power, and then I think I'm done. I'm ready to go into town and do all my town stuff because there's a lot of that too. So, all right, power's off, water's off, trash is taken out i am on the road with my little co-pilot all righty i got my mail i sent my mail i dropped off my recycling groceries and alcohol and toilet paper yeah, I think I am officially ready to head out of town. It is so hard to film in the van, you guys. I have nothing but windows. I will always be backlit inside of this van and it wants to do this, so. I might be parked out in the middle of the desert, but I am still working. My life is still very busy. It is like 10.30 and I am just now getting a chance to go take my dog for a walk to go to the bathroom and everything. He's staring at me very intently and so let's all go for a walk together. Um, so that he can do his business and I can show you around a little bit. Alrighty, so this is what everything looks like in the daytime. This little mountain is beautiful. Um, I have been here before. This is what it looks like during the day and the highway is over there. A van drove into it, into this road past me earlier. And I think that's them way over on the hill. I don't think you can even see that. The white speck way off on the hill, I think, is the van that just drove in this morning. 
their van didn't look much better than my van. I think I could probably make it all the way back there if I wanted to. So I figured I would just kind of walk up here and see if there's a spot I like better. Oh, so I found my cell tower. It's right there, sticking up over the hill. So it seems like I can't go too far back this way before the hill blocks it. So I might not relocate at all. I was kind of thinking about getting a little further from the highway, but maybe not. All right, so that's the van over there and I just lost the cell phone tower. Not quite to the sign, I'm almost to the fifth wheel. Well, I guess it's safe to say that that's Turtle Mountain. I was curious what this sign said. I could see it from a ways away. too. I'm pretty far from the van so I think this is the point where we're gonna turn around and walk back. It's a good morning walk, right? Not at Skolipalooza yet. Um, I'm outside of Lake Havasu and um, I basically spent the whole day thrifting yesterday and Goodwill still doesn't have their fitting rooms open. And Southern California is definitely their own chain of Goodwills. So if anything I have doesn't fit, I need to take it back today 
I didn't just go to Goodwill. In fact, I don't think I filmed going to Goodwill at all. I actually spent most of my day at like um, small local mom and pop thrift shops at um, Parker and then a couple in Lake Havasu. And then it's kind of funny that I pretty much exclusively found clothes at Goodwill and um, housewares and stuff at the mom and pops. Man, the fitting rooms being closed really, really sucks for van people. <laughs> I don't have a mirror. Once we get to the clothes, I will go try them on for you, but also for myself because I will just need to see them in the camera <laughs> and see if they fit. Okie dokie. So, first two items. It's this little soap dish. That's probably supposed to be like, I don't know, a pestle and mortar. I don't know. They had a plant in it, obviously. It has no drainage. I'm going to put a drainage hole in it because I have the right drill bits to do that. I got this mug. Definitely straight out of the 70s. No marking. All right, I got this. And I didn't know what it was at first. I thought it was pretty. It would be pretty to hang in a kitchen. And then I read it. You can pause it if you want to read it. But it's a bread warmer. Oh, prices. Um, that was two fifty. A dollar. The bowl and the dish dish soap were all a dollar. I got this. It's a picture frame holder. It's got the little thingies. I'm hoping it's not too big and that my kalimba will fit in here. Cause I never play my kalimba because it's not out. It might be too big, but I'm kind of thinking if I like string some jute or cotton or something between it and make like a little rest for it it might not to be too big then it was a dollar fifty which i thought was a good deal i also got these matching candle holders i mean i guess they're sisters not twins um but they are made out of rebar that's like spray painted they didn't have a price on them so the lady just gave them to me for a dollar each i got this little tile trivet thing this is a Ceramica S, I assume St. Marco, made in Italy. I have no idea if that's valuable or not. This was $5. It was the most expensive houseware I bought. And then the first thing that I got is this little wood cup. I don't know if it's supposed to be a candle holder or not, but I thought it was cute. And we'll see what I figure out using it for. Okay, we're to the last bag, which is almost all yarn. So I got this bag of remnants, and then I got this other one. Both of the yarn were $4.50. The very last thing I thrifted is a book. This is The Alchemist. I know nothing about this book. I feel like I've heard the title before on TikTok. We're gonna read The Alchemist, apparently. Alrighty, that's it for housewares. We will move you outside and I will use the van as a changing room and pop in and out for a thrift try-on haul. Okay, this is the first item. This is very awkward because there's all sorts of people around. Um, these are the two things that I didn't get from Goodwill. So this shirt I got uh, for $2.50, it was on the clearance section. It's like a waffle material. And then these jeans, they were $2 and they are Liz wear. I like it, very nice. I guess I can use this as kind of a base outfit for a few more things. So I got this vest for $1.99 that has some sparkles and beads and stuff. I haven't tried it on. My gut just said it was gonna work. So this is it open. This is it buttoned. What do we think? I think it fits well. I haven't even seen the video to tell you that it fits well, but it feels like it fits well. That's the back. I don't know, I feel pretty cool in a vest. This is probably the first vest that I've worn. Yeah, I think this is a win. Let me watch the footage back though to make sure. Okay, I got this coat, even though I don't need any other coats because I only ever wear my yellow coat. It's from Jax, J-A-C-H-S, Yox? I don't know. It was $7. It is oversized, but it's all cotton, 100% cotton, like duck fabric. And I just thought, I don't know, I thought it was nice. This is pretty much the only fabric thing, clothing thing that I literally gasped at in the store. 
I don't need more tops. So when I go through the top section, I basically don't flip through everything. In fact, I don't touch most things. I just look at the top of the shoulder or if it's like long sleeves, I look for the sleeves. I basically am just looking for fabric that like catches my eye. I saw this from like actually a long ways away and I was like, oh, and I just skipped over to it. <laughs> Um, this was in the men's section, actually. It was $5.99, I want to say. Okay, the sweater was St. John's Bay. I didn't just buy tops after I just said I don't need tops. I do need tank tops. So I literally was in the thrift store and I went, oh, that's cute. And the one right next to it, I went, oh, that's cute. And I grabbed both of them. So this is one of them. And I just figured out why it's in the thrift store is because the hem has come undone. Stitching jersey material like this is kind of hard but just for a tank top that will probably, it's long enough that it would get tucked in most of the time anyways, I think I can manage. So we'll figure out how to sew this back up. This was $2, $1.99. And this is vintage Walmart, basic editions. <laughs> oh, it's a sad day at the thrift store when you're excited to see vintage Walmart clothes because at least it's better than Shein. Alrighty, I got these pair of dress pants. They're brown, they're from White Stag. They were $6.99. This is just a really super plain tee. It was $3.50. It's just the Zodiac. This is the other tank top. When I saw the other one, I went, <gasps> they were right next to each other. It's a little bit cropped. It was $1.99, but it was the blue tag that was on 50% off, so it was a dollar. Oh, I low-key totally forgot about these shorts. They are H&M. They were $7.99, but they were blue tag, so they were $4. Thank goodness. I wouldn't have bought them if they weren't. Okay, this is the last bottom I got, and it is definitely too big. I have like taken the waist of these in before, but this one has a running stitch all the way through it. So I can't take it in the way I normally would, which is just cut a slit, pull the excess elastic through and then sew it together and then either sew the slip up or just leave it, honestly. I don't know, this is a definite maybe. I guess I'll have to see how cute it looks on. Tell me somebody didn't get this at Coachella, not have room in their suitcase, and then donated it to the Goodwill. Do I need this? No. I literally didn't even hesitate about buying it though. This is something I say, oh, you could wear it as a beach cover-up. Do I ever go to the beach to need a beach cover-up? No. But like, yeah, that is it for the thrift haul. I'm not sure if any of this is going back yet. I have to watch the footage and take a look at everything and whatnot and then get back on the road. It's a van life trip. It's fun to go shopping in new places or places I haven't been to in forever. But at the end of the day, this is a van trip. And we're going to schoolie. guys come say hi you don't do that you're gonna get hit by a car okay I will come to your side so you don't get hit oh my god you're so cute you got the baby bye guys no teddy
gonna believe what just happened to me. I am at the gas station right outside of Schoolypalooza. Like literally, it's the same road. Um, and <laughs> I pull out my hose. I have one of those expandable hoses and it lives in the back of the van and didn't think anything of it, but it sat in the sun all summer. I went to go use it here to top off my water and uh, it exploded. I am soaking wet. You can't see it from here, but like my whole front is soaking wet. I went into the truck stop. They don't sell them. I thought they might because you know, if you're, I don't know how trucks fill up their potable water. I, I mean, I assume that they just have hoses. So I am going back to Blythe to get to Ace Hardware. Luckily there is one and I called ahead, they have them. So I'm not, this isn't the worst story in the world, but I was so close. Yeah, things can't just go smoothly, can they? Package secured. Excuse me, I was making a joke, bird. Let's talk about schoolie. So I wouldn't say I did a bad job filming at schoolie. I just truthfully didn't get a lot of cohesive footage or footage that really gives you a good idea of like what actually happened or what went down. And yes, I am in a full face of makeup, but pajama pants. So just keeping it real with you guys. <laughs> yeah, schoolie palooza was kind of interesting this year. So I got there Sunday night. We're here. Teddy knows we're at schoolie. He's so excited. Wednesday, all of a sudden, everybody showed up. When I first got there, it was like empty. <laughs> there was no one there. I like introduced myself to a couple people. I met a few people, uh, but nobody seemed super down to like make friends or anything. A lot of the people who were there were like groups already not a lot of individuals and then there also wasn't much in the way of like group activities going on either starting monday they did do yoga and i did yoga um just a couple of times i kind of had an unofficial goal at schoolie to do yoga every single day and that was unrealistic <laughs> So as soon as I started it, I went Monday and Monday was like traditional yoga and it was really cool. And I've been feeling really like weak and not good. I have a few medical things going on. So when I went to do yoga at schoolie, I was really surprised. I was like the f that, that first day of yoga, I was like, man, I actually didn't deteriorate as much as I thought I did. Tuesday, the second day of yoga was a different person and it wasn't like traditional yoga. It was, I don't remember what they were calling it, but it was like a little bit of meditation a little bit of like sound healing which I'm not really I don't really believe in but it's nice I'll just go lay it down with a bunch of people whatever um and then they had like actual yoga and at that point I was like oh no I'm not as in shape as I was so like all of like the things that use the same muscles as the day before I was like I can't do this so I kind of had to wimp out on the yoga part of it and then yeah she did like some like screaming i didn't want to film people because obviously it's like really emotional some people are really like crying and stuff um but like i just have the audio so this is a screaming <laughs> And then after all the screaming, we did like dancing and like, you know, you got rid of the pain and then you invited in joy by like dancing and it was like childlike and stuff. I didn't prefer it to the traditional yoga, but like, I'm glad I did it. The rest of the yoga story is much shorter because um, Wednesday, I was like, mm, I'm not going to yoga. I know I'm too sore from it because of the day, you know, the two days prior. Thursday, I had a meeting because I worked through all of this. Um, I had a meeting with my boss. Friday, I had a meeting with a customer during the yoga time slots. And then Saturday, Sunday, you were like sleeping in. I wasn't hungover. I didn't drink enough to be hungover, but I was sleeping in because we didn't go to bed until like midnight or one. So I did two days of yoga, <laughs> which is a far cry from seven, but whatever. It is what it is.
The other big part about Schooly is like music and stuff. And I strongly remember last year, there were a couple of earlier parties like to kick everything off. And that just didn't happen this year. Everybody kind of had their own little bonfires. Some of those bonfires had music and stuff. But like, until like Wednesday, I didn't know anybody. And I was trying to make friends and meet people. But like, it still felt very like, intimate bonfires that I just be like, hey guys. So Wednesday is when uh, my friends arrived. They showed up and were like, we have friends over there. Do you want to come join our circle? And I was like, okay. So I immediately was like put in the circle of like all sorts of people who I had never met before. Then basically Wednesday through Monday, we all just hung out, you know, that that was essentially what Schooly Plus is. And so I don't have a lot of footage of that. At night we had, we would have like bonfires. Then when we finally got to the weekend and there was like party stuff, we would all go out to the party. Palooza always has like all the fire spinners and stuff like fire poi and all that I don't know anything about it but my friend is into it um so we would like you know go support her and go they're fun to watch just anyways we like to support her overall it was a good week it had a very slow start it ended strong but it's always really cool at Schooly to see all the different rigs. You know, it, it started as like a school bus thing, but there's people in camper vans like me. There's people in literal cars and tents, you know, box trucks and um, fifth wheels and motorhomes. Like basically you don't need to be in a school bus or anything. And then there's just all walks of life. There's like people like me who have nine to five jobs who aren't even living in a van anymore, but who hop back in it, you know, to go. And then there's obviously people who have been on the road for like seven years. I met lots of people who just started this year, you know, who have only been on the road like two months. It kind of puttered out on Monday. Uh, everybody kind of left either Monday or Tuesday because the weather turned. We got a big rain front come through. For myself, I ran out of internet. I ran out of power um, and the weather was really bad. The weather's better now, but um, yeah, I just didn't have enough battery power to keep charging my laptop. And then... Both of my phones were out of hotspot data. I was using my friend's Starlink, but they also ran out of power, so they couldn't power their Starlinks. So everybody who had to work was just like, I have to leave. But anyways, that has been my update. Uh, this is my welcome back to YouTube for 2024 after taking a little break. And it's just really crazy. You know, I have people messaging me on Instagram being like, when's the next video and stuff. And like, I kind of really never thought that that whatever happened. I've had this channel for a really long time and for a very long time the only people who were watching it were my parents. I had like 20 views and like 12 of them were my grandma watching them on repeat. <laughs> Somebody on another channel in another video s said something like, oh I have um, as many people subscribe to me as live in my hometown and they had like 60,000 subscribers and I was like, that bar is really low because I'm from a really small town. So I looked it up. How many people are in my hometown? And there's like basically 3,500 people who live in my hometown. We have far exceeded that. I'm almost to the 5,000 mark. But like thinking about the fact that like my entire hometown could be subscribed to my channel <laughs> and then some is kind of, kind of wild, you guys. Yeah, I just wanted to take every opportunity possible to say thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Commenting obviously makes a huge difference. I want to do, I don't want to call it a comment of the day because I don't make a daily video, but I guess it is a comment I am responding to on this day. So sure, comment of the day. I don't know. Um, this is from Wonder Woman 6574. You were awesome. Maybe you could build a couple of sawhorses and a work table from the old fence. Keep going. And I laughed at this comment so hard because I saw everything on the ground. My mom noticed this and actually bought me sawhorses for my birthday last year. 
um really nice ones the metal ones that like fold up and everything and they sat in the box i never took them out of the box and i did like five projects where i could have used them and i literally didn't even remember um and so i actually returned them and just got the store credit and bought some other tool with it instead thank you for subscribing i can't believe how many of you there are now um and if you're not subscribed and you want to maybe join these other people who did i don't know if you guys get me to 5,000 before the two-year homestead anniversary mark that would be wild i'm gonna go wash all those clothes that i thrifted now <laughs> so i'll see you guys later in the next video and until then stay awesome